Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to save your images for web. Okay, so if you're making a web page, this is what you guys want to do. Okay, so first of all, choose just one of the images that you want to edit. Okay, we're going to start making an action and then we're going to set the batch thing to do itself. Okay, so first of all, open up one of the images that you have to do. Um, then we're going to just click on actions. So go into Windows, you're going to find actions right here, the second option. And um, from there, you're going to see this window pop up here. Okay, so on this window, what you guys want to do is create a folder first. So down here below, you guys are going to see this icon folder. Let's just open that up. And we're just going to call it Save for Web. Click OK. Now here's the folder, and we're going to create the action. So just click here where it says Create Action. Just zoom in so you guys can see. Okay, and we're gonna name it. Well, I'm actually gonna name it Safer Web again. Actually, Batch. Safer Web Batch. Then we're gonna click on Record. Once we start recording, we cannot do anything wrong. Okay, it's gonna record all your actions. So here we go. Record. Once we record, just go into File. And as you guys know, there's a function to save for web right here which is right here, okay? So right now I have it set up to show me two images, the original and the safer web one. Up here you guys can see quality. Now it is good to bring it down to a good size. Um, we're gonna fit this in view first of all, so you guys can see. And um, I suggest if you wanna do a really good job, you do an image by itself but if you have a bunch of images I understand you guys need to do this now since this is for photography I'm not gonna lower anything actually I'm just gonna change the size my width size then you guys want to do that for sure um change the width size to whatever size your web page is at this point I'm making a 1024 so that's that's how big I want my image I want it to take over the whole screen so that's why I'm setting it like that if you guys need it smaller set it smaller okay a lot of people do 960 that's the standard go for that um, usually people do web pages that size my web page in this case 1024 it's for photography kind of makes more sense now um, here on quality you guys can lower it significantly okay so I'm gonna bring this up again to actual pixels so you can see how big it is um, or you can just bring it up so I'm gonna bring it up 200% just to take a good look now right now once we do this, it's already 72 um, PPI, okay, so pixels per inch, and uh, we can bring down the quality till we actually see something going on there. Um, if you're doing photography, again, you could leave it at 100, however, it's not the best if you do that. So I would bring it down to something that you won't notice too much of a change. It's good to sacrifice a little bit of quality and have more speed because people do not like to wait for your images to load even if they're really good images um, you don't want people to have to wait so I'm gonna leave it at 80 you guys can go lower than that you can go higher than that um, but 80 seems to be a good number for me I don't see a huge change there it's just a number that you guys feel comfortable with. You guys could leave it at 100. You guys can bring it down a lot. Now, if it's um, an image like this, go for JPEG, okay? If it's not, if it's, uh, for example, a logo, black and white logo, you wanna go for a GIF file, okay? But for now, JPEG's good enough. Um, from there, you guys should make already another folder outside. So make it on your desktop, wherever you want. Um, so right now I have a folder that's called Photos for Web and I'm gonna save that here. So just go to save and we're gonna pick that folder. So I go to desktop and here's my photos. I'm gonna save it there, save again and there we go. Once we do that, you guys can just close this, don't save and right here we stop the recording. Okay. That's it. That's all we had to do. Now we can go to the batch thing. So we can check our folder if it's saved there, so it's okay. So here's my image. I can just click on get info just to check if everything's okay. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good. 
and if you open this up in Photoshop you can verify that it's actually 72 dpi I know a lot of people do that before but I, I don't do that um, you can just go to image and then change it up from there but I don't see that necessary really so I'm gonna suggest just doing it this way um, with older versions of Photoshop you may have had to do that but now not anymore anyways uh, let's just go into file we're gonna go into automate and from here we have batch on batch we have right here we have our set that we already made okay these are default actions save for web and here we have our thing that's called save for web batch from there we have to choose our source okay so I'm gonna go right here click on choose and my source is right here where it says photography that's my source okay um, what I want to do in this case is override action open commands include up sub folders okay you guys could do these things however I'm not gonna choose any of these I'm just gonna do my action and that's it our destination is very important okay so we want to save and close um, so you guys yeah you guys want to do that for sure probably and you want your destination for sure to be a different one okay so here's your source which we chose our source then we have to go into stuff for errors you should you should really stop for errors however we're just gonna lock errors to file so we can see um, and we can just save our log into our desktop just so it doesn't stop we can see what's going on if it, any problems uh, we can just go over them right here so I'm just gonna save it in our desktop and from here we can just do uh, save and close that's fine you guys can just choose any actually uh, for example folder um, since we made a folder already I think it's better just to go and and save in our folder which is photos web okay um, for some of you that didn't make a folder you can just put save and close and you're good to go um, from there just uh, make sure it's all good you can override the action save us commands we don't want to do that this is good and uh, let's just start so we can just press OK and we're gonna see all our images so it's gonna take all those images again um, since we did one of our images already so it's gonna do that um, again unless you guys took it out already so you're gonna have a repeat of that same image twice so just make sure to go to that folder and delete your repeated image um, these are images that are for a web page I'm making right now and it's gonna be pretty cool it has photography graphic design and a bunch of other stuff now this will take some time to process especially if you have a bunch of pictures right now I have 67 pictures so it shouldn't take that long once this is done all you guys have to do is close Photoshop and you're done so that's how you batch we batch um, say for web here on Photoshop CC 2014 if you guys have any questions comments you can write them here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you